we're here to see the world premiere of the brand new Micro HD Plus from Kern. So let's unreveal it. Sebastian, what a great looking machine. So what can you tell me about it? So thank you first for your warm words. We are really proud to present it here uh, at this show. It's the first uh, machine you can see anywhere in the world with a micro gap hydrostatic in all five axes. So the difference to the HD is we now have it also in the B and C axis we create micro gap hydrostatic. So what advantages does that give to a customer? So there are multiple, of course, uh, but for me personally, I think the biggest advantage is the stiffness. So you create so much more stiffness in, in, in this technology and you can do whatever you want with it. So you can use it for milling pretty hard materials. You create bigger forces on the machine. Of course, you have great roundness of the, of the table itself, but the biggest advantage I personally believe for future applications is stiffness. And it's not just milling you can do on this machine. You can grind on it because a great point you told me earlier is you have machines making machines. <laughs> yes, you're right. We talked about that. It's, it's really we need the machine to develop itself more or less. Um, we have, of course, in these axes are extremely precise parts and the accuracy we needed to, to create these parts, we, it was pretty hard to find somebody out there doing it. So we started to just try out what is possible on a micro HD. And we used the micro HD in the meanwhile to, to round grind the parts we need for the HD plus. And I, I like how you couldn't find somebody to, to get the tolerances you needed, but yet you could get them yourself using your own machines. <laughs> now, Talk us through the control of this machine because you're using Harding Haynes' brand new control system. Yes. Yeah, so when we look at that machine, it's more or less uh, three parts uh, we integrated in that machine which makes the Micro HD Plus. So first of all, and I just swivel it out, it's, uh, we integrated the new Harding Haynes TNC7 as you said. And that, of course, if you look at the interface, it's much more user friendly. It's a touch monitor. So even I can, can do a, at least some of the stuff uh, the experts are doing. Uh, for me also here, the biggest advantage is this open connectivity you get with the Heidenheim control unit. So whatever you want to integrate, camera systems, job management systems, this is absolutely flexible. So what sort of parts and what industries have you seen these machines going into? Because you've had a lot of interest on this machine already. That's right. Uh, so in, in terms of industries, you know that. We are, we are quite broad. We are in many different branches. So in the last few years, of course, uh, we see a, a lot of interest in the, in the chip industry uh, and also satellite and high frequency industry. But it's really the case that we always try to develop universal machines and you can, you can use it for so many different uh, things. So we are not in, in special branches. And I think if people looking at home and looking at the part made on this machine, that is one of the best looking parts I have seen at this show. <laughs> so if we just move slightly round the machine, because I just want to talk a little bit, and I'll try and get this right, the hydrostatic guideways. So can you talk us through the system you have in this machine? Of course, uh, I'm happy to do so. So what you can see here is more or less the inside of the hybrid aggregate. And up there you have a small tank. It, it, looks, it looks not very fancy, but in this tank you have the temperature control unit of the complete machine. You may even know that we flood all the moving components with more than 200 liters per minute of cooling liquid. And we control that down to 50 millikelvin. And that's all done here. That's all complete own development. It doesn't look fancy, but the inside it is. And I don't know if, if you can catch that because down here, um, we have all what's needed for the hydrostatic itself, so for the linear axis, but also for the round axis. Here you have the tank for the oil. We create this 150 bar pressure for the microcap hydrostatic, and also this is fully temperature controlled down to 20 degrees. Now, a lot of other suppliers are cooling their spindle or they're cooling an axis. So what advantages do you get cooling the entire machine and what's it like to be the only people on the market who, who has not only designed, but implemented this technology? So cooling, cooling is 
I don't want to say easy, but it's doable for many. Uh, for many, what we do, we we really we control the temperature, and that's a bit different. So this is why we use aluminium as a material for the axis, because if you have any temperature change to aluminium, you get an extreme fast response of the material, and if you want to start regulating something, have a temperature management system, then you need to have a fast responding material. So it's not about cooling, it's about temperature management what we are doing. And we do that in all axes and in, in the basement and of course in the spindle as well. Well, Sebastian, it's a great looking machine and I'm looking forward to hearing more about it and hearing what your customers think of this machine. So from me and everybody at MTD CNC, I'd like to say a big thank you for your time today and thank you for the explanation on the world premiere of the Micro HD+. Thank you very much and we are really proud and just thank you to the team of Cairn which really enabled that. That, that, that makes me really proud of it.